Hey guys, so I hope you are doing good. So having done the first part of conversion, now I have got the second part of conversion which is doubling the size. Mm -hmm. I am not talking about doubling your size like eating more and more pizzas and burger and becoming a lot this more that. No, no, no. I am talking about doubling the size of a molecule. So I have picked up four questions in NCRT, Halloween Games, Halloween Beans which are based upon the simplest reaction where we can double the size of any particular molecule. Have you heard of one reaction known as Wood's reaction? We have Wood's reaction, Fittig reaction and Wood's Fittig reaction which are given in NCRT. But the main concentration is on Wood's reaction. What is that by the way? In the case of Wood's reaction, we take any alkyl halide. Okay? We react it with another molecule of same alkyl halide. So I have to take two molecules of the similar alkyl halide. And we have to do the reaction in the presence of sodium. But the medium that we have to take is triether. It is mandatory, it is compulsory, it is maha 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 important to mention triether as a solvent. Okay? Now what will happen, and we have to take two molecules of sodium. So what will happen? It will take one X from here, one X from here will get converted into two sodium halide plus these two R groups will join with each other. Okay? And this is what we call it as wood stretch. Fine? So if there are two carbon atoms here, two carbon atoms here, so the final product will be two plus two, four carbon atoms. Understood? Now we will be using just this particular reaction to see can we answer the conversion questions easily or not. Okay? Let's start with the first question. Again, I have written here in front of you all the four questions that I picked from NCRT. Starting with the first question, chloroethane to butane. Let's see. First I'll write, I love writing this thing. Chloroethane, two carbon atoms and one chlorine atom. And I have to convert it to butane. CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. The first thing that should come to your mind is, is this thing belonging to this type which I am talking about? How many carbons? Two. How many carbons? Four. Yes. So we can go for doubling the size. Again, not our size, the size of the molecule. So how to do? We will be taking CH3, CH2, CN and we will be adding two molecules of sodium in the presence of dry ether, another molecule I have to take, chloroethane, simple. Now these two Cl and Na will join together and they will go away to form 2 NaCl plus this two and this two will join together to form CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3 which is N-butane. N stands for a normal, a straight chain. Mm -hmm. Did you get the answer? So we can see chloroethane can be easily converted to butane. Done? Move to the next question. Let's talk about the next question, which is one chlorobutane converted to octane. Let me write it. One chlorobutane, CH3, CH2, 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 CN. And this has to be converted to octane. Now see, I am very, very lazy person. I really do You are smart enough to do that. So I simply write it as CH3, CH2, 6, CH3. Why did I write it like this? Because 1 plus 1, 2 plus 6, 8 carbon atoms are there, which is octane. Right? Now first let us figure out whether this is belonging to this type or not. 4 carbon atoms getting converted to 8 carbon atoms. Obviously this can be done with Wood's reaction. Right? So what we will do? CH3, CH2, 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 Cl plus 2 Na plus Cl, C, 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 C. You can easily write it now. I am writing it like this just for saving time. If I just do the reaction like this, this is wrong. Why is this wrong? Because I told you it is mandatory to write dry ether. Without the solvent, the reaction won't occur. Something else will be formed. Okay? Now with these to combine with each other, overall we get CH3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 1, 2, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh -huh. Manage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's it. End of day. Understood? So this question also can be done with the same method. Let's move to the another method. First, I will be taking this third, uh, fourth question and then I'll go to the third question. This is 2 chlorobutane and this is like out of all of them, this is one very good question which can be asked in exam. Fine? Let's see what the question is. 2 chlorobutane. I'll write it. 1, 2, 3, 4. CH, CL, CH2, CH3. So this is 2 chlorobutane and this has to be converted to 3, 4 dimethyl hexane. I'll write it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. Third and fourth position has 2 methyl group and it is hexane. Now how do I know that this can be done with fourth reaction or not? I will simply count the number of carbon atoms on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, the number of carbon atoms are double. Now the only thing we need to know is how do I write? You know, when I do the Woods reaction, I always have this habit of writing 2x in front of each other, right? I'm not talking about your x's in front of each other. Then it will be a kama sandhud, right? Oh my god, I can't even imagine two girlfriends, your ex-girlfriend standing together. Oh my god, let's avoid that situation. I'm talking about two halide groups standing in front of each other, right? So I have to convert this form in this kind of a form. So how will I do that? CH3, CH2, CH. I'll take the CH3 at the bottom and I'll write CL here. Now I'll just copy paste it in this direction. Plus QNA, plus CL, CH, CH3, CH2, CH3. Again, dry ether. You don't write dry ether, you get zero. I'm telling you. So better like dry it, okay? So this is go away, leading to the formation of CH3, CH2, CH, CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, CH2. Oh, nice, we got that. Understood? So even this question can be done with this method. Now let's talk about the last question of this study, which is given in the chapter of Halloween Games and Halloween And the question is. Benzene to diphenyl. First of all, many students have no idea how to write diphenyl. You know what they do? They write, okay ma'am, this is benzene ring. This is another benzene ring. So they call it as diphenyl. This is wrong. This is not diphenyl. This is naphthalene. So we draw benzene with one single ring. Two rings are joined together. These two carbon atoms are joined to each other. This is naphthalene. And further, if suppose I join three rings together, this is anthracene. Okay? I am not asking you in the question how to convert benzene to naphthalene or naphthalene to anthracene. So do not get confused. The question is how to make diphenyl. Now let me tell you the answer. First, we should know what the question is, right? So the question is how to convert benzene to this thing. This is known as diphenyl. Now this I have not written symmetrically. If you want, you can write it symmetrically. Otherwise, that was also correct. This is also correct. So how to convert this to this? Question number one. Can I call this as doubling the size? Obviously, here we can see it is doubling the size, right? Now question number two. How to make benzene to do to undergo dimerization to make it double the size? You remember I was talking about X group has to be there. Now in the chapter, uh, what was the chapter GOC? You have studied grade 11. There are few reactions of benzene which are known as electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Do you remember electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions you did in grade 11? Now, if you remember good enough, if you do not remember, I am telling you the first type of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, which is if you have to convert benzene to chlorine. 
chlorobenzene. I have to introduce one halogen here on the benzene ring. I will add Cl2 in the presence of N hydrous Al Cl3. So whenever you want to convert benzene to chlorobenzene, you add Cl2 in the presence of N hydrous Al Cl3. Now in this one electrophile Cl plus will be formed, there will be a tag and so on and so on and so on. You will directly get chlorobenzene. Mechanisms I deal in separate video. Right now I am just concentrating on the product form. Okay? So now I hope the question is clear. First we will take this benzene which is given to us. We will do chlorine in the presence of N hydrous ALCL3. I will get chlorobenzene. Done? Now what will I do? I will write ClCl in front of each other. It reacted with 2 sodium. The reaction is to be done in the presence of triether. You take this out and you finally get this. That's it. Done. Oh, one other thing that students do. You know, sometimes they like diphenyl in this. This is something wrong. Please don't do that. These two carbon atoms, all of them are joined to each other, but we show them by this line in between. Just, we do, just do not join it like this. Otherwise, this will like destroy everything. It's like, look at this particular carbon. How, let's try to figure out how many bonds it will be forming. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 bonds formed by one carbon atom. You're kidding me or what? Okay? So don't do this thing. Fine? So the only answer that we have got from this is, this is what is diphenyl. Done? So now see, the second type which I told you was so damn easy that it was based upon just one reaction which is Wood's reaction. And with that particular reaction, we have done these four questions in chemistry. Now let me give you one hint. Either this question or this question will be there in your exam. So try to practice them once again after the video. Okay? So that's it for today. I'll meet you very soon. Bye-bye.